This video is intended to solely instruct the service technician on how to utilize the service ticket in HVACproposals.com. So as a salesperson, as a service technician, when you enter the program, if you have a level of access of permission to do a service ticket, this is what you're going to see, create service ticket. Well, let's go add a customer. When you add a customer, it's going to bring you to a screen where you can add a customer. The most important thing you're going to get is the first name, last name, address, city, state, zip, email, phone number, lead source, and right down here in the bottom you're going to see currently a maintenance plan customer, yes or no. That will determine whether they get the discount based on if they're a maintenance customer or not. So once you fill that out, you'll scroll to the bottom and you'll click save. All right. As a technician, what you're going to do is you're going to create a service ticket. When you create the service ticket, let's go uh, John's Upstairs System. So we're going to say select our customer, J-O-H-N, so John Cunningham. Our date will be pre-populated. If it is an after hours call, you will actually click after hours and that will apply the after hours rate to it. You can show our service values and these are the values you're going to collect on the job. So 2.1 indoor fan amperage. So whatever the owner or service manager of your business has to wanted you to collect will be here. All right. Whatever you don't fill out will actually not appear on the service ticket. So let's hide that. So let's say we have no AC. We found we have a bad compressor. We recommend replacing the compressor and capacitor. We don't know what our resolution yet is yet because our customer hasn't approved that. We need to add a primary part and a secondary part. So we're going to go add primary part. And it's going to pull up what we know. So we know we need a compressor. So a compressor is always a primary part. So we're going to say C-O-M-P-R and everything with C-O-M-P-R in the name or the description is going to come up. So let's go add part. So it says one times three and a half to four ton. Let's add our secondary part. Let's add a capacitor. C-A-P-A-C. And everything with C-A-P-A-C in the name is going to come up. So let's use this one right here. Add part. If it were under warranty, you would click one of these boxes. And that once we save it, it will actually show you that. So let's go Refrigerant show, and we need eight pounds of refrigerant. We'll hide that. And simply all we have to do now is just confirm our diagnostic fee and click save. And what that will do is it will actually create a service ticket for that customer based on that information. It will calculate the price. Anytime you see the hard copy here, you can click on the hard copy. It actually will show you the current status of this service ticket of what it is right this moment. It's in a pending status. So we're going to go click on the hard copy. And this is our discovery. This is what we want to show to our client. So the logo of your company would be here. You're, you, you would be here and this is your, your client. So you're going to tell the client we found you had no AC. We found you had a bad compressor. And we recommend replacing the compressor and the, and the capacitor. So you'll see here it's going to give us a price. So here's the image of the compressor. And it talks about the compressor. You just basically just read this out to the customer. Here's the price to replace the compressor. And you'll notice here it says if you were a maintenance customer, you would qualify for these discounts. But since they're not, the total of the repair with the diagnostic fee is $21.14. So at this point, you can either talk to them about repairing or replacing the system based on the cost of the, of the, the repair. Here's that uh, capacitor based on the fact that it's a secondary repair. All right, so let's go back over here. And now we're ready to, let's close this job out. The customer has made... They've approved it. We're going to go status pending approved. We're going to put our close date in, which is today. And I'm just simply going to put something like uh, repaired all components per customer approval. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and I'm going to click save. And it's going to save and convert this from a discovery now to an invoice. So now when I click a hard copy, you'll notice that I actually have a couple now. Every time I have saved it, it actually has saved a copy of that version. So now I click here, 
And now instead of it being a discovery, you'll notice that it is actually is an invoice. And same information, but this time we don't have any images or descriptions. We have just basically our cost of our repairs, cost of our secondary repairs. And you'll notice there's an invoice at the bottom for 2025. And there was no discount, but if they were to make this plan, they would have saved 15%. So at this point, you would want to sell them where they would actually save more money than the cost of the actual uh, maintenance plan itself, most likely. So $89, and then the total of the repair was $21.14, which if we look at our discovery, is exactly what's on this page right here. So we go back to our repair. You'll notice that it's actually been approved. If we had checked the warranty here, that would have removed the cost of the components from the cost of the repair, and it would only be for a labor only. Alrighty, so that is going to conclude how to do a service ticket in the service app version.